Well, I got you recorded. Is that okay? Yes, sir. All right. Because we're going to put this on the video tomorrow, letting the winners know who won what. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me pull up my playlist here. Let's see. We had Jerry Brown. He did the Darth Vader type birdhouse. Uh, I think I'm overdoing my computer a bit with this recording. Okay, well, anyway, that's his birdhouse. We had Donald's Wagusfly. We had this birdhouse. And we had the old cranky workshop. My entry into the 2018 Summer's Woodworking Birdhouse he had challenge the contest. Hot balloon. It's my bird birdhouse. House balloon. And then we got rabbit wood workshop. He's got little cottage type birdhouse. Pretty cool. Uh -huh. And then we got Nantech River wood crafting with Chris. And he turned himself. Well, good afternoon. Welcome to the show. But as the seasons change, you can take yeah, that natural edge log. It's pretty cool. Get yeah. ready for the next tennis. Finish on it. That's pretty cool. And we put about three coats of uh, tea coil. And then we had Anna Red. Which had this funky looking bird house. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Whoville. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we've got Chris Glitzos. He's got the Pink Panther birdhouse. Which I thought that was pretty cool. I like the cigar and everything. Oh yeah, a lot of detail. Then you got Ken Moon at Moon Pie Creations. Mm -hmm. He did this awesome little birdhouse. Larry Satchwell. Yeah, I thought it was great that that he had his grandkids out there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pass it on. Yeah, and they did a pretty classic birdhouse. I like those styles. Yeah. Those styles of birdhouse. Yeah, they did a great job. Let's see here. Then we got Zach at Southern Ginger Wood Shop. Hey guys, it's Zach, and welcome Sorry. back to the shop. Summer's. <laughs> there you go. I thought that was pretty cool that he can hang it on the window and it's got a see-through see -through window in it. So he can see the in it. Yeah, that was definitely cool. Man, my internet is choppy tonight. So, Kevin, uh, which ones did you like? Uh, well, um, just in my opinion, for uh, well, do you, I mean, do you want me to just from four down? How how do you want me to to name? Pick pick, pick your top four best ones that you like, and then top four. we'll contemplate who's going to be in first, second, third, and fourth. Okay, my top four is going to be Ken Moon, Wood Tinker. Donald Veloxify and Anna Red. Anna, Donald. And what was the last one? Uh, Anna Red, Donald Veloxify, Wood Tinker, and Ken Moon. Okay, who's Wood Tinker? I forgot. 
Uh, Chris Blitzoff. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. I'm not, I'm not thinking right tonight. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. The one that over, overall caught my eye was the one that Donald did. Um, yeah, his. Let's see. Let's pull him up real quick. We'll see. The reason I like his is he had a lot of texture that was on that on the roof. And the hand painting that his roommate did on the leaves looked really nice. Yeah, that was outstanding. Yeah. And, outstanding. you know, to turn, it's not just a neat task. And he did that oh, yeah. really nice. But see all the texture on there? He did that with the Dremel. Yeah. So I thought time. that was good. So, let's see. The other one that really caught my eye was Ken Moons. I added windows on the side. Because... <laughs> All these little pieces, you know, he turned made into bricks, you know. That's a lot of cutting. He put a lot of some... effort and detail into this. Sure did. And not only that, inside there, he's got himself. <laughs> Let's see. He's got himself a little bed and family in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So I like that one. That was that was really nice. Between those two, those are my top dogs. Uh, I like the Pink Panther, and I like Anna Reds. And yeah, the then I would say Southern Ginger. Uh, well, actually, Southern Ginger and Anna Reds. Those two. I had a hard time picking which one I liked the most. He did all the tile, uh, the shingle work, which gives him points for that. And But yet, she got more of a, a detail look. And it was kind of yeah. cool looking, too. So. Yeah. So, what do you, what do you say? <laughs> Between Donald and Ken's, and the, uh, and the Pink Panther. Who do, who do you say went the extra mile? Uh, I would say Ken. I mean, they're they're both well, all three. They're great, right. but Ken, he's really really caught my eye. He's got a lot of work in that thing. Yeah, he's got a lot of detail and work into that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, he helped with some of the trash talk to try to advertise <laughs> the Birdhouse yeah. Challenge. So did Donald. Donald uh, did yep. a video. So he gets <laughs> extra points for that. <laughs> <laughs> Brownie so, points. So between those two, uh, you know I hate really doing the challenge, the judging part. I like seeing the you know stuff being made, but I hate Eight going on judging. <laughs> you know, when you did your semi truck, it was a no brainer. You know, <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> but when you got three of them, you know, that you could pick first place with that, with the drop of a hat, you know. Okay, come here, honey. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'm the boss lady. This this is Ken Moon. <laughs> okay. 
Remember that one? I remember that one, yeah. Okay. Now, this is Chris Klitzu's. He did that big pink panther. Yeah. Which I really like that one. Too. Yeah, I really like pink panther. Yeah. That, that's original. That's different, you know. But the other one more common. Nice, but more common. It's a little bit different. It uh -huh. takes some extra time into it. Uh -huh. So and, I really like that one. And then you got Donald's. Okay, Which Donald, well, let me remind you, okay. Donald did the the trash talk promotion video. Right, right. Okay. So he he gets extra points for that. And that's all textured up there. And then his girl, and not girlfriend, but his roommate, Jacqueline, she, she campaigned to do something. All the keeps all the way around. Now, may I do a piece yet to first in this one? Uh, <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, she Cameron, <laughs> she's saying Pink Panther, <laughs> then Donald, then Ken's. <laughs> That's originality different. And the other one's too common, where Pink Panther is something really different. You don't see very often. And then the other one's kind of unique, too. The other one's more of a common type of thing. <laughs> the Pink Panther, I knew the Pink Snoopy was really going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pink Snoopy's going to like Pink Panther. <laughs> so is my mom. She just loves the Pink Panther. I like. well, I think that's <laughs> out of the ordinary. Not Seymour, Seymour. And Ken, you said Ken third? Yeah. Oh, man, he's going to kill me. He, he said... <laughs> He said, if he don't win this one, he's going to come after me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame it on your wife. Blame it on my wife. Well, I like the pink panther now. The pink of one minute or two. I like the pink panther. That's my favorite that you showed me. Okay. Well, take a good look again, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> which one do you Which one do you pick first? First place. My my first place opinion would be Ken Moon. Ken Moon. Mm hmm. Okay. I agree. Okay, so Ken first. Okay. And then. Sorry, you're out. You're outnumbered. <laughs> okay. Ken got first. Okay. Okay. Then the Pink Panther. Then the Pink Panther? Yes. Okay. What do you think, Kevin? I think I think that would be fine. Yeah. Pink it, Panther? Yeah. Doing good. Well, Donald. The boss lady said. I was, I was going for you, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think Pink Panthers got second. Yeah. Okay. And now this is the Anna one. I'll show you. We like this one too. Yeah, we could get trouble. Uh -huh. See the pole and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the what was that? Smallville, not Smallville, but what was? Whoville. Whoville, yeah. Uh -huh. Where, where uh, the Grinch stole Christmas? Remember? They go down there and he grabs all their presents. That's what that place reminds us of. So you like that one? Yeah, I really like that one. 
It's a thing. He wouldn't say that's right in Kim Moon's. <laughs> Bath noise. <laughs> Why is my internet not going? Cool? Okay. I need you to take your inner, okay. your stuff off. Anyway, this one or Donald's. Donald's is the little yeah. uh, acorn. acorn. <coughs> and what's the deal on Donald Neil? He gets extra points for doing the promotion. Okay, then keep him at third. Okay, keep him at third. Yeah, I didn't do this one. Before. Okay, so Donald's third. I can't pinch it. Or <laughs> Why? Because it's too, it's not original, it's not different. It's all common, same old. Just like if I made mine. Just that's my opinion. Yeah. But that's okay. That's cool. But you realize that not everybody cuts all that wood. He, he spent a lot of time cutting wood. Making those bricks. It. It took a lot of time and then he that. carved out the carved out the shingles and everything. Yes, he put a lot of detail Why? into it. Oh Lord. Had a lot of thought process. But it's okay. <laughs> well, you're you guys are hearing the wife. Uh, <laughs> you, you you settle for ten first? He is so good. Okay, because me, me and Kevin are going for Ken. Okay. I'm outnumbered. Then we'll go with, <laughs> then we'll go with Pink Panther. Yeah, right. Then Acorn. Corn. And then the yes. uh, Whoville House. <laughs> yes. That's right. Okay, that's what we'll do then. Workplace. General Finishes is donating three pints of product worth between $12 and $36 each. And Jim Red is donating two pieces of products per winter worth $50. Third place, Empower Tools is donating a fast track sharpening system. It's worth $79.99. RZ Mask is donating another mask. It's worth $35. Jim Red is donating two pieces of product per winter and it's worth $50. Second place, Lowell Thomas Tools is donating a jack clamp kit. It's worth about $99.97. 12V Tools is donating a $25 gift card. RZ Mask is donating a mask of choice worth about $35. Jim Red is donating two pieces of products per winter. It's worth about $50. Hi everybody, this is Chris Glitzos, also known as a wood tinkerer. Today, I have a special guest, Pink Panther. Guess what? Birdhouse. Well, with no further ado, let me show you how it's done. Okay, it's the first place prizes. Bora Tool is donating a 543400 WTX clamp edge four piece set and it's worth $159.50. Clearview Cyclones is donating a $100 gift card. 12V Tools is donating a $25 gift card. And RZ Mask is donating a mask worth about $35.
and Jim Red is donating two pieces of products from this website that's down in the description for winter and it's worth about fifty dollars 